In this video of fractions, we're going to look at how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. So let's start off by looking at addition over the side here. In addition, we have to use a technique called the upside down picnic table. This is because it looks like an upside down picnic table when you add the fractions. Each leg of the table and the top of this upside down picnic table means you have to multiply the two things together. So in this example, we're going to have to multiply the 2 by the 6 up the top here. We're going to have to multiply this 5 by the 7 up the top here. That's the two legs of the picnic table. And finally, we're going to have to multiply the 2 by the 5 down the bottom. Now putting this all together, this is the same as saying we have the 5 times 7, and that bottom one always goes up to the top here, 5 times 7, plus, now this is the plus from the middle of the fraction, which is still there, 2 times 6, now this is the 2 from the bottom being multiplied by the 6 up the top, and then that's all divided by the two bottom ones which are multiplied together, the 2 times 5. That is our upside down picnic table. Now we just have to simplify all of these numbers together. So first of all, we've got 7 times 5, which is the 35. We've got 2 times 6, which is 12. And we have 2 times 5 down the bottom, which is 10. Finally, we can add the 35 and the 12 together. This gives us an answer of 47 divided by 10. And we can't simplify that down anymore. Now let's look at an algebraic example. So up here we've used numbers. Now we're going to look at an example with letters in it as well. We'll just use x. So here we have x divided by 2 plus 3 divided by 7x squared. So again, we're going to use our upside down picnic table. We're going to multiply the bottom two terms together. And we're going to multiply each top term by its opposite bottom term. First we have the x up the top multiplied by 7x squared from its opposite side down the bottom. We also have the plus, which is still from the middle of the fraction. And we have the 3 up the top multiplied by the 2 from down the bottom over here, 2 times 3. And finally we have the bottom two terms multiplied together. Simplifying this all down now, we've got x times 7x squared, which gives 7x to the power of 3. Plus, we've got 2 times 3, and 2 times 3 is 6. And this is all divided by 2 times 7x squared. Now, 2 lots of 7x squared is 14x squared. And this is our final answer. It's simplified down as much as it possibly can be. Looking at subtraction now, it's the exact same thing, except instead of having a plus in between the fractions up the top, we're going to have a minus. So again, we're going to focus on our upside down picnic table technique. In this example, we're going to have the 10 bringing across and multiplied by the 1. We're going to have the 7 multiplied by the 3. And we're going to have the 10 and the 7 multiplied together on the bottom of the fraction. Simplifying this out, we have our 3 times 7 minus, which comes from the middle, the 10 times 1 from over here, and all divided by 10 times 7 across the bottom. Simplifying this down, we've got 3 times 7 is 21, minus 1 times 10, which is 10, all divided by 10 times 7, which is 70. And simplifying the top, we have 21 minus 10, which gives us 11 over 70, and we can't simplify this down any more than that. Let's look at an example with subtraction using algebraic symbols now. Here we're going to have 5 divided by 2y minus y squared divided by 3x, and we're going to use our upside down picnic table. Now in this upside down picnic table, we've got the 5 up the top multiplied by the 3x down the opposite bottom side. The minus is still in the middle there. Then we have the y squared multiplied by the 2y from its opposite bottom side. And on the bottom of the fraction, we have the 2y multiplied by the 3x. Now that we have all of this written out, we need to simplify down the fraction. We have 5 times 3x gives us the 15x. We have negative 2y multiplied by y squared, which gives us minus 2y to the power of 3. And this is all divided by 2y times 3x. So multiplying 2 by 3, we have 6, and we still have our xy down the bottom. This is as simple as we can make it. Now let's look at multiplication. In a multiplication fraction, we have to do the top multiplied by the top, and then the bottom multiplied by the bottom. So when we multiply the two fractions, 7 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 5, we're going to have to do the top multiplied by the top and then the bottom multiplied by the bottom. This gives us the 7 times the 6 up the top, top times top, and then the 2 multiplied by 5 down the bottom, 2 times 5. Simplifying this down, we have 42 from 7 times 6. Now we can simplify this by dividing both the top and the bottom by 2, and that would give us 21 divided by 5 if we simplify the fraction. But now let's look at this when we're using algebraic symbols. 
Here we have 3x divided by 2y multiplied by x squared divided by 3y. Now in this example, we're still going to do top times top and bottom times bottom. Now here, if we have 3x multiplied by x squared, and on the bottom we're going to have 2y multiplied by 3y. Now if we simplify this down, 3x multiplied by x squared gives us 3x to the power of 3. And if we multiply 2y by 3y, that gives us an answer of 6y squared down the bottom of the fraction. Now we can still simplify this a little bit further. We can simplify the numbers 3 divided by 6, and that will give us a final answer of the x cubed from at the top and 2y squared down the bottom of the fraction. Lastly, we're going to learn how to divide. Now when we divide, we flip the second fraction over, and then we're going to multiply the two fractions together. So firstly, our second fraction is 11 divided by 4, so our first step is to flip the second fraction over. That's going to give us now the 3 divided by 7, multiplied by, because then we're going to multiply the two fractions, the second one flips upside down, so it's now 4 over 11 rather than 11 over 4. Now we're into a multiplication problem, like in this previous column in the table. So now we have to do top times top and bottom times bottom, just like in the multiplication, which gives us 3 times 4, which is 12 on the top, and 7 multiplied by 11, which is 77 on the bottom of the fraction. Let's look at this using algebraic symbols. Here we have 2k over 5m divided by 7m over 4k squared. So remember our first step is to flip the second fraction over. So we're going to flip over the 7m divided by 4k squared. And this gives us a multiplication fraction of 2k over 5m from the start, and now the flipped 4k squared divided by 7m. Now we can do top times top and bottom divided by bottom. Now this top, 2k multiplied by 4k squared, gives us an answer of 8k to the power of 3. And on the bottom of the fraction, we have 5m multiplied by 7m, giving us a denominator of 35m to the power of 2. And this is how you divide. So here's a summary of what you need to know. When you're adding, you use the upside down picnic table. So any four numbers which are here, you're going to multiply across the A and the D, so the D, the one down the bottom on the right hand side, is going to be multiplied by whatever's on the top on the left hand side. And in the same way, whatever's on the bottom on the left hand side is going to go up and be multiplied by whatever is on the top of the right hand side. And again, we've got the top of the picnic table which represents multiplying the two bottom terms together. So that would turn out to be the A from up the top multiplied by the D from down the bottom, the C from up the top multiplied from the B down the bottom, and then both the bottom terms B and D multiplied together. Then we just simply simplify, and then we've got our answer. And the same applies when we're minus it. It's again an upside down picnic table. We do what's called cross multiplying these two terms, B and C and A and D, and they both go up to the top. Remember, we still have our minus in between them. And we multiply the two bottom terms together. Again, simplifying this down, which in this case is just taking out the time symbols, that's AD, two opposite terms brought up the top, minus, from the original question, BC, again, the other two opposite terms, all divided by BD, the two bottom terms. Now when we're multiplying, we have to remember top times top and bottom times bottom. This means that we multiply the top two terms together, and then we multiply the bottom two terms together. That makes it one single fraction. So here we've got a times c divided by b times d, and then we simplify. Lastly, we have to flip the second fraction and multiply whenever we want to divide two fractions. So here we have a divided by b divided by c over d. So our first step is going to be c divided by d flipped upside down. Now that gives us a over b still multiplied by d over c, because now it's a multiplication problem. Then again, top times top and bottom times bottom. This gives us again the same answer a times d and b times c on the bottom of the fraction. Let's try another example now. Here we've got 3x over 5y squared multiplied by 6y over 8x minus 4y over x. So we actually have a multiplication problem and a subtraction problem. Now because the subtraction problem is in brackets, we'll need to tackle that first. So let's go through it step by step, and hopefully you'll know by now it's an upside down picnic table because it's a minus. So when we write out this upside down picnic table, we're going to have still the 3x over 5y squared out the front, and then up the top here we're going to have our 6y multiplied by our x because we multiply across. So x multiplied by 6y, we've still got our minus in the middle, then we've got 
8x down the bottom here multiplied by the 4y up the top here, so 8x times 4y. And the bottom of our picnic table gives us 8x times x. So this is all written out in longhand here down the bottom. So if we actually do these multiplications, we'll still have the 3x divided by 5y squared multiplied by 6xy from x times 6y and minus 32xy from the 8 times 4 is 32 and x times y is xy and divided by 8x squared. 8 x times x is x squared. But we can still simplify this a little further. Here we have 6xy's and we minus 32xy's. So altogether that makes negative 26xy's. Great, so we've done our subtraction part of the problem here. Now we just need to do the multiplication part. And that is top times top and bottom times bottom. So let's get started. Here we're going to have the 3x multiplied by the negative 26xy. And on the bottom we're going to have 5y squared multiplied by 8x squared. So writing all of that out, 3 times negative 26 equals negative 78. We have x times x here, which gives us x squared, and we still have a y left over. On the bottom, we're going to have 5 times 8, which is 40, and y squared times x squared, which gives us x squared y squared. So we're nearly at our answer now, but we need to simplify a little further. We can divide both of the numbers by 2, which gives us negative 39 over 20 instead of negative 78 over 40, and we can cancel out both of the x squareds because x squared divided by x squared is just 1, so we can cancel them out. Same with the y's, we can cancel out the one y up the top and one of the two y's down the bottom, leaving us with a final answer of negative 39 divided by 20y.